the Timberborn, and I was hoping that I, uh, I could get all of this explosives policing done in the background before the bad time ended. We've only got 0.8 of a day left, and there is lots to do still. So we're going to let these guys keep working. Um, and as soon as the bad tide is gone, I'm going to get the main district to start building this area up a level. So what I think would probably be sensible in preparation for that is we're going to want a, a large pile of dirt here. And we're going to need to build some higher floodgates. So we're going to need some, we'll do some small piles of logs and planks. So going to make everyone quite busy because at the same time, I want to be opening this up as well. So it's going to be tricky. But I'm kind of hoping that we can get this done and get another bad tide so that we can test this properly. So, yeah, that's the plan. The other thing that I thought would be useful, and actually, oh, have we got our, our lumberjacks are going up here, so that's cool had a bunch of really useful suggestions as well which we'll try and get to they might not be in this video they might be in the next one and i'm recording this video before you guys have seen the last one in fact even before i have edited the last one so any comments you make on that um yeah i haven't seen because i haven't released the video so we're gonna open that up we're gonna close that up we're going to open that up and we actually, that yeah, should be automated, shouldn't it? But hey, let's just throw it over. Oh, no, I deleted the stream gauge for now, so we'll just let that all flush its way through, do its thing, and uh, hopefully we don't end up contaminating any beavers in the process. And uh, yeah. So the first suggestion that I'll talk about was about building up the height of the canals. My view on that is I don't want to because I think I'd have to build up a lot. Um, oh, that's annoying. We've got some bag water in there. Oh, well, um, I would rather make it so that they can handle the capacity of the water that's coming through. Maybe. We'll see. So yeah, that's that's one thing I'm thinking about. That's going to be a bit annoying. We're going to get a bit of a pocket there, aren't we? Um, yeah, and maybe we could fill that in and have it as land now because it's not essential to the flow of water around everywhere. But that's, that's all going to sort itself out in the fullness of time. Um, and once this is not a toxic wasteland, we can uh, we can start thinking about it. We could we open these up. So annoying that they don't synchronize when they're diagonal. Um, we can maybe push some of this away. I did like the suggestion of using um, our water pumps to help with this, but. I think what we have is okay. So it does take a little while to clear, but I think we're okay. No, those aren't refilling. We're actually in a pretty good place with water anyway. So yeah. Um, right, what I want to do over here is keep increasing that's going to be set to supply keep increasing our explosives production because we're using a lot of it and uh, we're not making enough so it kind of makes sense to me to put another one next to this and then what i want to do for this district is make sure i can find the district center um, oh cool, we can get those trees planted. Let's do that first. No. 
There we go, because we've already got the forester there. I'll make sure they are set to be cut. Um, so that should help. The trees are coming in over here. We could actually, by the looks of it, do with more foresters. So maybe we um, tell them to not replant that one and we'll put another forester in there i think and, and we could put another forester down here as well they will cover an area maybe not probably better to put one put one there maybe um yeah so we'll come back to that um I wanted to make sure that we have, so we are 22 beavers short. We have one spare bed and not enough. So we need to build more housing over here. And I don't know, maybe we just keep pushing this tower block up. It's not a bad idea, is it? It's not that much of an eyesore. Um, and then they benefit from the the well-being stuff. So let's do that. I'm actually going to put it on double speed so that we can keep an eye on all of the other stuff that's going on around the colony. And we'll do so. We'll do the same thing. We'll build another three triple lodges. Well, yeah, triple lodges, and that will give us another. 18, 27, which should be enough. If we come over here, we are 13 beavers short. So we are still short of accommodation over here. And what we can do is we put another platform there. And that might be enough. That might be enough. I haven't done the math. I'm just kind of guessing but that seems to have helped so let's close that up um they're getting most of that in we don't need to panic and rush quite so much now we have got some pockets of toxicity but what we can look at doing now is i'm going to get the delete tool and delete that part back we're going to delete all of that we're going to put a staircase there and we're going to run the path there and along there and i'm going to widen all of that by two so we need to delete that bit to there and then we're going to go one two so four four i'm just extending this by the same amount in each piece and hopefully that will help yeah. so that's that's my plan for dealing with that i don't know if we'll need to expand it over here we'll see um as we get most of this explosive i can just let them work on this now so let's just make sure that basically everything is a medium priority at least which it is yeah so we'll let them work on that um i was thinking about putting we don't need all of you going we probably don't need any of you going because we are a little bit short on beaver power that's okay okay um i did think about putting a bad water pump in here and making the explosives here but at the moment i don't think we have the beaver capacity and i think we would be better served doing it here and shipping it out because so, we do have storage for we don't have storage for explosives here. We should have 
Let's address that. And what we'll do is I'll put a medium warehouse or explosives set to obtain. Let's prioritize building that. Let's make sure that that's prioritized. Let's go back and put in our extra lumberjacks. No. No. Oh, there's a tree there. That's why it won't let me do it. Okay. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Let's go over here now, actually, because this is all clean water now. And what we're going to do is extend a path along here. Down here. And then start working on, I think if we, no, let's put it, put it the correct way around. I know I don't need the one in the corner, but it will look nicer. So let's do that. They don't actually need that path, so we can delete that. And that, and that, we can just work on how to replace it. We might need to do some prioritization, obviously, to get this all sorted. But let's just try and get it designed first. I think so. We come to there. Probably then looking at extending that like that. Actually, we could. Yeah. If I go across there. So let's build that. Up. And then do triple floodgates across there. Um. Yep. And then if we do similar over here, we go like that. And we're going to come off of here. Okay. This. That. And then we can bring triple floodgates across there. And if they can get all of that built, then that would be awesome. And I'm actually going to prioritize this because otherwise they won't build it. And we need to make sure we need to prioritize that as well. And then we are going to need to ensure that both districts have access so which we will do like this oh that was messy wasn't it that and probably we need to get some access to this island so to just build them a set of ladders like that get them up to all of those so they should be able to build that I think and we need to put a piece of rain there I think no we need to go up one more we, yeah we got one more and then we'll need it to come across here once the rest is done Um, does this district have to? It doesn't. Okay. Did we reignite? The... We did not. I think we're probably out of dirt. I may have the one dirt extract. That could be a challenge for us. That could be a challenge. Or an opportunity. Challenges and opportunities and all that. So, 
Well, that the beavers work out how they do everything based on the resources they have. Uh, cracking on with that quite nicely, which is, I mean, in theory, probably what I should do is place a staircase the wrong way around because I like doing that. Staircase like that. Let's then delete you and delete you and put a path further out. Uh, and then let's put a bit more explosives down here. Here we go. We'll see how that does us. We'll see how that does us. But yeah, we are now definitely not making enough explosives, so... We're definitely not making enough of everything, let's be honest. Um, this has not quite worked, but it's closer to working. This has not really worked and is slightly toxic, so I'm going to close this and let it dry out. Um, and I'm going to deprioritize that anyway because I want them focused on this stuff and that is dependent on us exporting dirt I mean, really I should have more dirt extractors but that's going that way and hopefully dirt's going that way and what we don't want is dirt to be coming across there so let's turn that one off let's make sure it's still coming across there no which oh that might happen anyway that's what we want yeah i thought about putting a bad water pump in here um and pumping that out and maybe we will in the fullness of time the other really so we had a really good suggest you know, we can start making our own maple syrup so the other good suggestion was about um growing some lumber up here definitely um, once we've got this bad water thing sorted so that's mostly in so i guess i need to deal with that issue so if we deal with that i'm going to encourage them to do that we're going to delete the path here that needs explosives placed on it uh, did i put triples there oh, i did well done me so those need to be doubles uh, that should be good. How? Ah, oh, it's too far from this moment because I've disconnected the path because that needs to be built. Okay, fine. I really don't want to have to replace all of these with four high metal floodgates. That would be ridiculous amounts of work. Um, I would rather another bad tide coming. I would rather keep moving this out so it gets deeper through here, but. Well, uh, we'll we'll see how we get on, but it's only three days to go. I am mighty nervous that we are going to get all of this done. Um, I guess we will see if we manage to or not. That needs to be high priority. As does that. So, is it going in? Most of the floodgates are in. There's going to be this gap here. We could address that by moving this over. We can just extend that along there. Yes, I know the paths are a mess. This is all temporary until we can get this bad side thing sorted. Um, so we doing the whole prioritize everything. I'm in a bit of a panic about getting this done, if you couldn't tell. Right. 
Yep. Particularly because we rely on organic beavers building this side. So. Yeah. Well, we'll get done what we get done, I guess. Uh, yeah. How do they do? Are they, they're probably not even working on any of this. They are? That's good. Because, yeah. It's going to take us a few cycles to get this sorted. And I do wonder sometimes whether it would be better to do a bunch of this off camera. But interested in your views on that. Because this is pretty repetitive, you know. Just iterating the defences until we get something that's going to work. But they are working on the things, which is good. I stood the floodgates are in. That's cool. Um, our new staircases are getting there. Once they're in, we can delete some of these other ones. Probably if we're going to do that, we need that's going to force them to go that way again unless we we might have to change things up a bit we'll see let's, let's just get done what we can get done right. yep and that kind of kind of makes sense get done what you can get done that's what you can do really but you know uh, Ideally, we probably want to put a stream gauge in somewhere here-ish. Let's, let's, let's just plan for the worst. Bit there. That way we don't need to delete it again if we need to step back even further. And that's in. So we are now going to delete you. And... We want to delete the path across there and there. And landscaping, we need to block like that. And we can pass. Like that, and then would be sensible to try and prioritize the that block. It's really annoying that it always selects the path. Um, what I can do is plan there and then there. Reconnect our, our direct path. We only have 0.8 of a day. So that's not brilliant, but you know, I, mean, I guess we can delete that there to uh, try and help. And if they get that in, that actually will protect this side pretty well. So, um, apart from the fact that they are likely then to be, yeah, they're still down here doing stuff. I guess we're going to need to delete that staircase in a bit. And whatever they've got done is what they've got done. So up here, we can leave these to keep placing stuff, because these are all bots. You're going all the way up. And yeah, we need to... If 
you come down. Delete. Right. That's prepare. So we want to open you up. We are going to close you. There, closed. That's almost done. We will close you. We will close you. And uh, here comes the bad side again. And we are not completely there with our stuff, but we don't need you anymore. Um, obviously not an ideal situation that we're in. So we need to prioritize you. Those are high prioritized. Cool. So is there more explosives we can usefully detonate? I guess down here, this can all go. I think we better leave that so they can get to those. Um, this can be detonated. Um, yep, no, over here, hopefully we are not going to get any contaminated beavers, possible, possible, I guess what we could, could we or I don't think the other district can get we might just have to accept that some of them are going to get contaminated to get this done um, yeah and this is the problem where when you make everything high priority nothing becomes high priority that's in so let's detonate those we can detonate that um, so down here is mostly working, certainly working better. Along here is okay. So it's this bit still, which is causing us significant challenges. Challenges and opportunities. Challenges and opportunities. Um... So I'm not sure why none of the builders are coming to get it. Unless you're going to do it. You are carrying dirt. So. That one blocked up. That one has been blocked up. That one is about to be. So hopefully they can get to those. Let's prioritize these as well. Uh, and then if I go down here, we can now detonate this. And this. And was it enough? Once it settles. I feel like it's... It's a pretty long way from being enough. Down here, we're good until we get to here. But this still feels like it's a long way off of being good enough. So what we would need to do, do we just make that deeper? Do I just say screw it and make this whole thing deeper? How deep? So up here, we have gone down another one. So really, we probably only want to go down one. So we can do that off a staircase, a couple of staircases. So let's put some path in. It's going to run 
the whole length this and then we will refill this channel with explosives wait i know this is getting a little bit repetitive and uh i apologize for that um, Are we looking over here? So this is, we didn't get any ill beavers, which is good. This is almost blocked up, but there we go. So that's going to keep this side free of contamination. We've just got the problem now that we can't get enough through here. Um, and then obviously there's the issue that it of that it's spilling through the rest of the map so yeah i think the thing that we need to get done now is this so let's prioritize it uh, yeah what i'm worried about is we have 93 explosives in the whole colony uh, that's not enough but we are at least now able to protect most of this apart from the fact that it's now coming across from to the side so let's get a couple of you going um we're not going to do any droughty stuff i uh, i do want to focus on the fact that we're still trying to sort out bad tide we oh where are you there so we now should be okay for jobs and beds in this district we now hopefully can put in our extra foresters one are you not set to be cut you're not oh. i set you to not be cut other than not be replanted there we go because we clearly need a lot more foresters here so we will put those ones in as well um how are we doing for power over here we are we're good we're good so i am thinking that i'm going to i really want to put in i don't know whether to just keep expanding that way i want to put in another explosives factory mm. i am going to worry about all the other resources at some point but for now Explosives is kind of our key thing. So I'm going to do that. You should be paused. That's going to have saved us some beavers. How are we looking over here? We've got 34 spare beavers. Wow. Um, how are we doing for bots? 37 short. Yeah, I thought so. You are running at pretty good productivity. Oh, so, yeah, I guess we just need to get some more made. But, yeah, got this side sorted at least, which is good. I mean, it does suggest that the answer is we just make this one higher, but I'm going to achieve that by just making it one lower. Um, and getting lots of explosives put in so I think that's probably we don't need to be worrying about extract because we're only using single explosives uh, yeah I am going to let them place all of these explosives and I'll come back back we are very very close to being done um and i have resisted the temptation to 
detonate stuff as it got placed. I uh, am going to do it as one big hit to see if it works. Now we've got one, two, three, four, not many to place. The, the issue we've had is that because explosives are not in a, you know, an excess, generally the ones that are placing it are going back to the colony to get it because the haulers aren't bringing it over quick enough. So that's made it slightly more inefficient, but we have six, seven, and eight pieces to place, which shouldn't take too long with the army of bots that we have working for us. And then hopefully we can stop working on this ridiculous project and get on with something more more useful this is really useful something different um but yeah that's the plan i'll be happy this district working on the big water tank and i've got some other little projects that i've started for the other two districts which i will show you in a moment as part of kind of expanding the uh access to the map so oh we've got a few up here as well that i've missed that was a little bit premature with my excitement so let's get those in as well um i am going to wait until i put the ones in where the staircases go as well it kind of bugs me that when they're swimming they have to have a path so i get it pathfinding in the game but it would be nice if they didn't have to now, if they could just swim across and do the do the thing that this guy's going to do but no he needs a staircase to go down in the water there we go so we can now put one in and uh well, we don't need to high prioritize it at this point but i will check no good i didn't miss that corner so yeah and then i am going to go around and do a big path tidy up probably afterwards I've automated the two sets of floodgates already. So, and I did put in a little bit of terrain here to see if that helped. It didn't, it just pushed the problem down. So. But we are just waiting on these last two pieces of explosives. Hopefully there are some bot, there's one and there's two, so. Let's detonate this and see if it has done the job or does the job, I guess. And it looks like it might. It looks like it might. Um, it looks like it might not. We are. Oh, success. Success, me thinks. Now we just need to check we haven't pushed the problem around the corner because look at that rip through there. That's insane how fast that must be going. Um, I mean, even up here, we're getting four CMS. Get some interesting rip currents going around the different places. But let's have a look so you're okay you're okay you're okay and down here i think and there may be a little bit that's spilling over but i don't think so i think now it's mainly a case of waiting for this stuff to flow off the map so we'll give it a bit of time there we go and we'll come back and we'll see how we're looking while we're doing that so over here we are, I've extended a causeway up to this part of this island. Um, because I think this will be a good place to start farming some stuff. And over here, I've extended a bridge out here. Because assuming we have mastered the bad tide, we want to start blocking off the edges of the map so that we can retain more water. And it kind of looks like we are winning we're not quite there obviously there's this this bit unless this is going to dry out as well 
but down here we're okay it would probably be beneficial still to knock this bit out um yeah maybe we still need to do this corner up here but 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 that i am taking as a victory and that's going to be part of the thumbnail now yeah right so you now do not need to be pain neither do you um and we have a lot of paths to delete once those are empty. that's okay this is kind of doing good so in the interim they did get the rest built and I swapped over that tank to the catalyst so we've got a big catalyst store now um, and we're actually getting better placed with our bots I did reduce the bots we were using over in the main district over here so but I think we you know we have a little bit of leakage over here but I'm going to claim that as a picture I think this is going to be very quick to sort Basically, we just cut more of this corner off. I mean, I even thought about just um, putting levees across here. And that would also give us access to this mine, which might not be a bad thing. Um, and it could be that we turn these four islands. So what was, what is um, Roanoke, these other two islands, into a district in their own right. And uh, might be sent something. They're going to have a cracking power source through here um, yeah but I'm, I'm super pleased that I've actually got this to work and it should be now that we just have clear water coming through here so these will open when it's not contaminated so that should now be really good uh, I'm, I'm yeah I'm, I'm super happy that we've got this sorted um so i think we can start uh, with blocking off some of this and i don't know whether to use dams or levees probably sensible to use levees i think we can maybe just switch it as we go if we need to but start the process um Yeah, and over here, so our builders now probably don't have a lot to do, so they should get working on building our. I have the side platforms. I do, so we're going to unlock you and put that there, and we can build. No, we probably want you to be. Wait, there we go. You, and then you can go up there, you can go up there, you can go that way. You need to be deleted before they get you built. Um, and then, yeah, this is a lot like I've done. Well, it, it's how I did the, um, the the ridiculously huge dam on the Helix Mountain Mega Build series. Yep. It looks like we might be a bit deep. I'm not sure. We will see. Obviously, these are going to need to go. And we're going to need to bump this up a long way. Um might be that it is beneficial to run a path around the inside so along here so that we can delete this path and not worry and have they emptied these out yet but they're still yeah they're still bringing biofuel over everything needs emptying now folks so good so pleased with that if 
we can just deal with this corner which I don't think is going to be a big issue and say at worst and maybe maybe we should just levy across there I don't really want to um, yeah and we're probably going to need to fill this in with some terraforming but when we have the infrastructure for a colony here to get them going Something happened here, we're not sure what. Yeah, so they are up on to this island. So I'm gonna get to that and I'm just going to throw in a lumberjack flag, get all of the dead trees cleared off of here. Down here, these guys are slowly putting this in. I mean, it would probably be sensible to bung uh, in a medium pile for logs to, uh, to get the haulers to bring the materials over for them. Uh, I mean, I think we're, we're, we're at a point where we don't have enough storage for all the food that we're growing, which is good. We can expand if we want to. Um, I mean, we're up to 318 beavers, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good sized colony. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get these beavers to. I, mean, I think we delete this route now and make them go up and over because, because efficiency is not. Efficiency getting out all that way now is not so much of a priority. Leave the ladders there, and I think we will extend one more, and then we will come across here. Let's start getting that in, and yeah, this is going to be filled above. So we will have to change the logic that's controlling that. Knew that wasn't right. Okay. Okay, let's. Come on, save. Yeah. Need to decide how high we're going to bring this. And I guess it would be sensible to make it that high. So, we've gone a little bit too high on there. We could go higher if we need to. So what we'll do is we'll put a staircase there. We'll make sure that we've got paths running way right around there. And uh, yeah, then we've just got this side to fill in just. I think the benefit of having this here is going to be that it is going to hydrate some bits of land for us. We'll work out then what we're going to do with things. So weird. Having this done, we have actually conquered the bad tide. Just grab another picture of the uh, very dry map. Arched almost. So what we can do now, we can put in our lumberjack stuff person and then we are going to nudge this way up so that we actually fill it and see where we hydrate to and yeah I'm going to basically I think Hopefully that'll be enough. I guess let's again let's let's work on trying to achieve something that's going to be a solution. From there we will run down like that. Uh, I'm actually going to 
to, yes I know it's too far from the district, you'll get a staircase in a bit, we go. Yeah, because down here it's okay, and here it's okay, so I don't know, which maybe it would be wise to come all the way down to here. And then we can decide if we need to place this stuff, but it seems to be okay. So, soon as the bad fight ends, we'll put the staircase back and to do that bit. And uh, yeah, I guess the next stage that I think we should tackle is automating this bit of the response. So what we want is a stream gauge to be about here. I need a bit of path to get across to build that. You go. So I do want to tidy up all of this stuff that we're really not using. super happy with this it took a lot of work it took a lot of work to get that sorted but it is sorted so you are trees oak trees and we now shouldn't really have a problem for most of the island with bad water we do need to allow space for more foresters than we think we need we need to tell them to cut down all oh, farm sim fans lone oak now, if you're not a farm sim fan you won't get that one uh, so we are going to open you and close you and uh, yeah I need, I need to control this one off of a uh, off of a, I, need, I need to put an extra one in that controls it off of a stream gauge so we'll do that um, in terms of getting the bad water out I've got a plan which should work um Okay, let's you just nudge that up to a half, maybe even one. So that a bit more water flows into there. You can go a half probably. I think it would still be okay. Yep. This means it holds a bit of water up here. Uh, and what it means is it pushes water into this quicker. Which is a good thing. Um We appear to somehow have run out of biofuel because no one is making it. So that's a problem. Um, what we need to do is go into here. Oh, we have no bots there either. I think in that case, we've got some food, we've got some water. What we're going to need to do is migrate population. We are going to bring in four beavers. Oh, they've started. But we're going to make those beavers. We'll get them making biofuel and we will refuel everyone. I guess they're all a bit worn out on everything they've had to do recently. Um, yeah. 133 bots that are out of fuel. The beavers that come over have got lots to eat and not a lot to drink and nowhere to sleep, but they can just make some biofuel we'll get a few bots refueled 
and uh, see if we can get that going again. Right, over here, this is working, which is great. You can see we've got a bit of a soupy mess that we need to clear, which is just waiting for this to open up. And we shouldn't get this problem again. Um, I mean, in theory, now we can probably reform this area. Um, because it's not part of the water system anymore. I guess we need a staircase to get down to it. Okay. Uh, and it's kind of weird in day two and uh, uh, yeah. Water situation I'm sure will improve as we go. I mean the same here, we could make this into land now, or we could just dam across and have it as low level land. It doesn't provide a benefit to the um low dynamics word, I'm not sure it is. Um we got we doing for dirt now actually we're pretty good for dirt yeah so i think you know at the very least we could do is come across here come across like that and just block that in and uh yeah start to reclaim bits of the island right. very inefficiently we will do something like this we might blast away that little lump that's there we could, we could actually just blast all of this away and have it as an enclosed area and now we can put you back Times you prioritize the explosives because that should be the very last bit that we need to do. Um, yep, you're clearing those off, so we do need to do something up here. Going to do a three by Three by three by three. Um, and over here we are now, hopefully. So we've got some bots running again. So let's go back to it being bots. And we just need to make sure that it's a high priority. And then you can go back to your district. And uh, yeah, that, that should sort it. It's a bit of a, a bit of a noob miss on my part. Now, probably what we want to do is maybe these be biofuel. We might even want another refinery for biofuel. Because we've got a lot of spider dock, so let's let's build up a bit of a stockpile. Um, I don't think there's any harm in pumping a little bit of water in this district as well. They are now better keeping up with... I blocked that off, yeah. We need to do is tell them to not plant that one. We plant... No, we don't want to do that. We want to tell them to not plant that one or that one. We'll replant that one. We're going to put a piece of path there. Can't get to those now, can you? That's okay, we're getting there. I bet they can't get around the back there either now with our put you. So we need to do you, I think. We can replant you as a tree. And yeah. yeah, just me being a bit silly. Cutting some things off. So let's 
make sure they're keeping that empty. Good supply of dirt again, because I think we're going to be doing a lot more terraforming now in the positive way rather than the negative way. Like over here. Their first job is getting all of this in. And uh, what I'm pleased with, what I'm pleased with, and uh, actually it's kind of not working that way, is um, I guess we've got this big dry area in the middle now as the water system flows that way. Um, there's not a lot we can do about that. It's not a problem at the moment. It's not a problem. Yeah. No, that's not a problem. And so I'm guessing the flow through here is really good. So I think we can delete those, delete that, delete that, delete that. Let them get this lot placed. Um, we need to we need to find what's using bots early in district one and switch it off because we don't have any there now. So, um, I'm guessing it's probably the scrap metal flags. Uh, no, I made all of those bots. That's some water pumps. There we go. Uh, no. Is there a way I can filter on jobs that are just done by bots? That would be useful. I'm going to do that another time. My, uh, my eyes are a bit tired, so... You can all be paused. You can be put in. Uh, yeah. We'll be able to plant down here as well, so... I guess it's probably wise to throw in a few more flags. And then, so two past the path. There. There. There we go. So, a nice big area of oak going in. Which is kind of cool because it's going to become part of Rowan Oak. Maybe in the next video, maybe we'll work on developing these islands into the next colony. So, let's explode some of this. Why not? Fun. Yeah. Looking forward to the next bad tide. If we get another bad tide, we might get a drought. Um, we'll have to see. I mean, it's very definitely changing how the map looks now. So this is cool. This is, although it's it's 12% contaminated, it's not actually affecting the um, growth at all. We do have you drying out. So. I guess it's 2.3. We obviously need it deeper than 2.3. All right, let that up. Uh, hopefully that can fill it a little bit more. I guess maybe I should make that a floodgate. You can do that. You can make that a floodgate. Um, speaking of flood, is that going up? No, it's not. I guess we want that to be at like there. Uh, there we go. I also 
sort itself out. It'll be alright. I mean, that's kind of what I want to happen. The plan is that it'll come out of here. I guess it's maybe because there's no exit for this. So maybe I should do that. Finished him TV shit. No. I'm going to just delete those and uh, get them to come pick them up. This is now clean, so we can. Uh, they finished the terraforming there, they have. So, what we actually, we don't need to worry about the bad side now. So, yeah, we can just put a forester on there. Where do we want to put it? Yes, we should put a staircase there first and then we'll see we're going to put the forester to maximize the coverage of the island now are we looking down here we are still working it away let's prioritize that awesome that's mostly going in which is great but yeah, I think at this point we're going to call it a day because I have uh, have achieved. That's what I was looking for. I have achieved. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, click the like button. Um, comments, questions, suggestions, stick them below. I thought about how if we wanted to, we could get water into the rest of the map. Let me know if you think we should. And uh, I will see you next time.